Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vibhash Kumar Vaid and today in this video we will going to discuss about the nervous system. So what is nervous system? The nervous system is a master system of human body. Why it is called master system of human body? Because it control and regulate all the system of the human body and it is also chief controlling and coordinating system of the body. Why it is called chief controlling and coordinating system of the body? Because it control and regulate all activity of the body both voluntary as well as involuntary. Now what is voluntary and what is involuntary? Voluntary that means which is controlled by ourselves and controlled by command and what is involuntary? Involuntary that means which is controlled automatically. The nervous system is based on the special properties that is sensitivity, conductivity and responsiveness. Now the parts of nervous system so here you can appreciate the nervous system is broadly divided into two part. One is the central nervous system, another is a peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system comprises of brain and the spinal cord. So these two structure forms the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system is comprises of 12 pair of cranial nerves and 31 pair of spinal nerves. Along with this the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system have two functional component. One is somatic, another is autonomic. Somatic means which is concerned with the innervation of skeleton muscles with the efferent pathway. Efferent pathway means from central nervous system to periphery and it is also transmission of sensory information along the afferent pathway. Afferent means periphery to center and the autonomic nervous system which is mainly concerned with the control of cardiac muscle, smooth muscle and gland involving the afferent and efferent pathway. Further, this autonomic nervous system is divided into sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Sympathetic system which is activate during in emergency while the parasympathetic activity which mainly counteract the sympathetic activity. Now we will discuss about the structure of the nervous system. So nervous tissue is consist of neurons and the supporting cells. So first you can appreciate here this is a neurons and neurons is a structural and functional unit of the nervous system. The neurons is name given to nerve cells and it processes. The neurons are excitable cells that are specialized for the reception or stimuli and conduction of nerve impulses. Each neuron possesses a cell body. You can appreciate here the neurons has cell body and from cell body you can appreciate here a surface projection. And this surface projection is called neurites. So this is here you can appreciate these are the neurites. This neurite which is mainly responsible for receiving information and conduct it toward the cell body are called the dendrites. So here you can appreciate a small small fibers. This fibers are called the dendrites and this dendrites and neurites which mainly responsible for the receiving the information or nerve impulses. Then you can appreciate here a single long neurite that conduct the impulse away from the cell body is called the exon. So here you can appreciate this is the exon. An exon which conduct the impulses from the cell body to the terminal bottom. This dendrites and this exon, this two structure is called the nerve fiber and the neurons are found in brain, spinal cord and ganglia. 
now the structure of the neuron you can appreciate here this is a schematic picture of the neuron and each neuron is consist of this cell body and neurites neurite means the process this is the nerve cell body and this nerve cell body consists of mass of cytoplasm in which a nucleus is embedded so here you can see this is the cytoplasm and in the cytoplasm you can appreciate this is the nucleus which is present or embedded in this cytoplasm and this cytoplasm is bounded externally by cell membrane so here you can appreciate this is the cell membrane which bound this cytoplasm this cell body you can appreciate here this is a cell body and this cell body of small granules cells of cerebral cortex is measured about 5 mu m in diameter as well as the large anterior horn cells is measured about 135 mu m in diameter now the nucleus so here you can see this is the nucleus and this nucleus is placed or located in centrally in the cell body or cytoplasm and it is a large rounded you can appreciate here the nucleus is large and rounded and pale in color and within the nucleus we can also appreciate the fine chromatid which is not visible here because it is widely disappeared the nucleus is single prominent nucleus which is concerned with the synthesis of ribonucleic acid now this cytoplasm you can appreciate here this is the cytoplasm and this cytoplasm is rich in granular and a granule endoplasmic retinaculum and contains the nasi substance golgi apparatus mitochondria microfilaments microtubules liposome centrioles and lipofungi melanin or glycogen and lipids these component are not visible in this diagram but these component also contain the cytoplasm of the cell body now we'll discuss about the classification of neurons so neurons is classify according to polarity according to length of axon and dendrites and according to the function so first we'll discuss about the classification according to polarity so according to polarity the neurons is classified into unipolar pseudo unipolar bipolar and multipolar so first here you can appreciate this is a schematic diagram of the unipolar type of neurons and this unipolar neuron which is developed as a unipolar cells and sends out single process so here you can see this is a cell body and from the cell body it has only single process two unipolar cells are found in lower vertebrates the mesencephalic nucleus of trigeminal nerves is considered as a unipolar neurons so you can appreciate here this is a unipolar type of neurons and from cell body only single process is arise then after the unipolar this is a pseudo unipolar neurons as the name indicate pseudo means false why it is called the false unipolar because it is appear like a unipolar but it is not exactly unipolar because from cell body has a single neurites here you can appreciate from the cell body only single neurites is arise further this neurite is divided a short distance from cell body into two branches here you can appreciate from cell body a short distance after this neurite is divided into two process or two branches one branch which is entering in the central nervous system and another branch which is proceeding to some peripheral structure the fine terminal branch here you can appreciate these are the fine terminal branch and this fine terminal branches at the peripheral end of the axon at the receptor side are called is dendrites so here you can appreciate 
this fine terminal branch which is called the dendrites on the both the side it is called the dendrites and this is mainly found in the neurons of the dorsal root ganglion of all spinal nerves then the bipolar neuron here you can appreciate this is the bipolar at the name indicate from cell body it has two process so you can appreciate from the cell body it has arises two process and the bipolar neurons are spindle in shape you can appreciate the cell body is spindle in shape and dendrites extend from the periphery of the cell body these are the dendrite which is extend from the periphery from this cell body one passes from the cell body into nervous system and this bipolar neuron is mainly found in the olfactory cells of nasal mucosa membrane the bipolar cells of retina and ganglion cells of auditory nerve so these are the site where the bipolar neurons is present then the multipolar neuron so here you can appreciate this is a diagram of the multipolar neuron and as the name indicate the multipolar means from cell body it has various process and this multipolar neurons have number of neutrites so here you can appreciate the from the cell body it has number of neutrites and this neutrites arise from the cell body the long process this one is called the exon and another this short one is called the dendrites so these are the dendrites and this is the exon and this is the nucleus of the multipolar neurons now the second classification which is according to length of exon and dendrites so according to this length of exons and dendrites the neurons is classified into two type one is golgi type 1 neurons and golgi type 2 neurons so first the golgi type 1 neurons this golgi type 1 neurons have long exon you can appreciate these two are the golgi type 1 neurons and this type of neurons has long exon and this long exon may be 1 meter long or more than 1 meter long and you can appreciate it has a dendrites here you can appreciate these are the dendrites and this dendrites are short and numerous the example of golgi type 1 neurons is pyramidal cells you can appreciate this is the histomatic diagram of pyramidal cells and purkinje cells so this is the picture of the histomatic diagram of the purkinje cells this pyramidal cells is mainly found in the cerebral cortex as well as this purkinje cells which is mainly found in the cerebellar cortex so these two type of neurons is considered as a golgi type 1 neurons now the golgi type 2 neurons so here you can see another small histomatic diagram and this is a example of golgi type 2 neurons so you can appreciate this golgi type 2 neurons have short exon it has a short exons and dendrites is also short and numerous so here you can see it has a short exon and dendrites are also shorts and it has numbers of dendrites then the neurons have star shape you can appreciate here the neurons are star shape appearance and this type of granule cells is mainly found in the cerebellar cortex now the classification according to function one is sensory internuncial or intermediate and motor now first we will discuss about the sensory or receptor neurons this sensory or receptor neurons are bipolar or pseudo unipolar neurons the cell bodies of all sensory neurons lies outside the central nervous system except the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve then now this internuncial or connector neurons this type of neurons connect the sensory with the motor nerve cells so it is the intermediate type of uh, neurons which connect the sensory with the motor neurons 
and this uh, connector neurons are multipolar in character and this type of connector neurons are mainly located in central nervous system examples are majority of ascending and descending tract are axons of connecting neurons then third type is the motor neurons the motor neurons is also known as the efferent neurons and this motor neurons are multipolar in character they are located in central nervous system except the post ganglionic neurons of the autonomic nervous system the motor neurons are basically it is two type one is the upper motor neurons and the lower motor neurons the upper motor neurons confined within the motor cortex of brain while the lower motor neurons which is situated in anterior gray column of spinal cord or brain stem so this is about the according to functional classification of neurons in this video we have covered the introduction of nervous system the parts of nervous system the neurons structure of neurons and classification of neurons according to the polarity according to the length of axons and dendrites and according to the function rest part of the topic will covered in our next video on nervous system lecture 2 till then keep connecting with us and if you understood the topic then do like comment and subscribe our channel and you can also share this session with your friends thank you